my gorgeous, sparkly, juicy, tasty Scorpio. Welcome to your love tarot reading. This is going to be for you and your person, boo boo, whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble dick, marriage. Let's take a look at Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please show me angels what's going on. Also, Scorpio, with these universe system readings, we're assuming some kind of a rift or separation going on between you and your person, baby. And if you are new to the channel, welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot. And if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. I see you, baby. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Love you, my baby. Scorpio, I'm Scorpio Sun and Rising. So this is Scorpio Central. All right, this is the Scorpio nest of the internet. All right, but in a cute way. In a sparkly pink way, but it is still a Scorpio nest. <laughs> Cross watcher, welcome to the dark side. And also, Scorpio, I owe you an apology. I missed uh, one of your readings on Sunday. We did skip one because I promised you an extra one, uh, and this one is coming out really late at night. So um, we're going to we're going to do this. Is what we're going to do? Uh, I have a lot going on in my life right now, Scorpio, and it's all good stuff, and it's all like little Scorpio secrets. I'm going to tell you later, um, but I can't tell you what it is just yet. So um, I have a crazy week. But what we're going to do is either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, over two days, this weekend, we're going to do double readings of everything. So we're going to get two uh, two bonuses this weekend. Uh, we'll figure out what, what we want to talk about. I'm probably going to ask you in the um, in the community tab, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, I do apologize, my baby. I don't mean to be so, I don't mean to be so neglectful of my babies. It's just, it's just been a crazy, crazy time. Uh, and I'm so, so grateful that you choose to spend your time with me anyway, baby. Mm. Oh, let me tell you what I see for your person already, by the way. Uh, I see the seven of cups. I see confusion. Aquarius got a similar vibe. I wonder if you're dating an Aquarius because <laughs> it's almost the same reading. Uh, you got the seven of cups here. Big girl, this is someone who's like really like, I thought don't even they cannot see the wood for the trees they cannot see the sky for the stars they're just like so confused about what to do what to do how to approach this situation this rift or separation two of cups here this is someone who definitely still loves you there is no question they miss you four of pentacles and they love you <laughs> king of cups okay this is someone who might be having like a little drinky or a little you know little i don't know little edible just to like you know make the time go by a little bit just because they're like feeling really down they could be self-medicating with ice cream edibles wine i don't know whatever that person is into um they might be trying to look like they're having fun on social media. They're not. They're sitting at home by themselves thinking of you. <laughs> just to let you know, Scorpio, obsessed, of course. Cross watcher, we know you're obsessed. No, I'm just kidding. Cross watcher, energies can be switched. Let's see what happened here in the past and with the situation. So, by the way, Scorpio, I already see that your person believes you're a bit of a player, too. So, I'm not mm, calling you out. I'm just saying that's what they think because that's the Scorpio vibe. Everyone thinks we're like... <laughs> crazy you know like they think we're like crazy about it we we don't like we rule it we don't you know like we don't we're not obsessed with it we rule it you're obsessed with us <laughs> oh my god is this like am i am i becoming like an egomaniac when it comes to scorpio vibes maybe maybe but i don't care it is what it is scorpio you know you're the best okay uh nine of swords <laughs> the lovers <laughs> and the high priestess Mm, someone couldn't figure you out, Scorpio. This is always the Scorpio problem. This is such a Scorpio card in love. Someone was like, okay, look, if it was a bimbo himbo from Tinder, anyone in between you met on a Tuesday, this is someone who lashed out at you in some kind of a way. Like maybe a ghost, maybe something. They did something to hurt you because they couldn't figure you out, okay? And they have this like pattern, see, nine of swords. They caused you pain because they wanted to possess you, the lovers. You know, they, it was like love at first sight. Bimbo himbo from Tinder, anyone in between saw you on a Tuesday. were like, oh my God, sparkly Scorpio. What a cute little juicy tasty gem i want it i take it but i don't understand how to open the box and they got frustrated and they're like oh bad box and they threw it in the corner <sighs> why are people so immature so yeah there's like a cer certain sense of immaturity here they couldn't figure you out this person likes to be in control so usually they're the mystery but you were the mystery to them so they were like a little toddler like mm -hmm. I don't get Scorpio. Why does Scorpio not tell me how to, like, there's no password, you know? They couldn't figure out the password to Scorpio. 
And now they're still confused. They're still confused, Pipel. Oh my God. It's because you didn't make it like super easy for them. And neither should you make it so easy for them. Queen of Wands. So th now they're thinking, Scorpio must be a player because they didn't, you know, fall at my feet. This person might be really handsome, successful, or well-to-do. They have something to them that makes other people chase them. You didn't. You were like, well, Pipel, <laughs> you need to conquer this fortress. You know, like you need to show me that you're doing something for me. <laughs> and this person was like, like, ah, Scorpio is making me work for it. And they couldn't figure out what your motivations were. And it drove them, it drove them insane, it drove them crazy. You gave, you met, you, you were matching their energy and you gave as good as you got. And this person doesn't like that. They want to be the one giving a little bit less and the other person chasing more, you know, and they're used to this. And this was hell to them. <laughs> they were in hell, Scorpio. Your love was like going to hell. Um, by the way, Crosswalker, don't freak out to a scorpion. If you say that, that is a compliment. Like, that is the highest order of compliment. <laughs> they deserved it, though. See, this is the thing. When you love a scorpio, scorpio is karma, all right, Pipu? Let me tell you this. Scorpio is karma. If you're experienced, I, see, people tell on themselves. Whenever I hear people trash talk scorpio, and they're like, I hate scorpios. I had such a bad experience with a scorpio. It makes me think that you're a bad person because Scorpio is n pretty neutral energy. It's karmic energy. So if you hate Scorpios, like what, why, you know, like your experience, basically your love experience with Scorpio will be either heaven or hell, depending on what kind of a person you are. If you're a hellish kind of person and a bad person, your karma will be hell. And if you're a good person, your karma will, will be heaven on earth, paradise. Okay. Our love is like paradise. It's, you know, grapes from grapes, grapes from, I was going to say from the tree. They don't really grow on trees. Grapes from the grape vine whatever like you know what i mean grapes from the grapevine it's ambrosia it's nectar it's mm, the you know like it's the land of milk and honey but if you're a douche fluid you're going to be in hell but because you're going to be running circles around yourself just like this person did with the high priestess they couldn't figure out out scorpio figure they couldn't figure you out scorpio and they i'll uh, put themselves in hell Okay, so I'm just saying, be careful with Scorpios if you trash talk some people because, oh, Scorpio, I hate Scorpios. I don't never date Scorpios. Well, that's probably because you're a douche flip, <laughs> okay? And Scorpio gives you your karma, whether you want it or not. Scorpio doesn't do it on purpose. We don't do that ourselves. It's the karma around us. This is our energy. People get karma when they meet us. Uh, okay, boo So you got the Empress. <laughs> that was a little lecture on love and the Scorpion. We, we are the best to love. We're the most faithful, the most beautiful, the most deep. We will love you we will worship you we expect to be worshiped and exchanged uh, all of that right but we but if you don't worship us there you know there will be hell to pay okay the empress here so this person screwed you they this is how uh, those are their intentions towards you they want to fix this uh, situation they want to heal it if you were in a long-term connection with this person this is someone who um this is someone who was like it's kind of the same energy as the new connection with the bimbo himbo, but it was more chronic. So this was someone who really, really, really wanted to, was in love with you. They've always been in love with you, even if it's a marriage of 30, 40, 50 years. You know, the love is real and uh, persists. And this is almost like a soulmate connection that I uh, see here. Could have been on and off for a little bit. It's someone who loved you very, very much. But again, you were a bit of a mystery to them. And they couldn't quite figure it, figure it out. And there was always this secret insecurity to this person. You were not aware of Scorpio. Uh, and they felt like you were always like a little bit above them, a little bit better than them, a little bit, you know, higher value. Whatever it was, there's something about you that made them feel insecure. And uh, they would like do little things to hurt you. And over the years, that really accumulated here with the Nine of Swords. Uh, you know, little betrayals, you know, like, you know, it's the, you know what the energy I'm getting here is if it's a long-term connection, it's the kind of person who you got yourself like a husband or a wife and every time or anyone in between bit or and anytime you go to dinner with friends in the public eye, this person like takes out a seat from under the table and like usher, like the first thing they do is they take care of somebody else, you know? Like your, 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 your best friend or like your friend or their friend. They're like, you know, it's that husband who's always like running around all the women at the table, but like, and the wife is the last or vice versa. It's the wife who's always uh, entertaining and paying attention to other boys and never her husband. Like that's not her priority in the public eye. It's like these little digs, you know? And it was like a, a cumulative. It was like, you know, never complimenting you, always saying to 
to always telling Janet she's cute in public. You know, Janet, the family friend. Oh, Janet, you look so great today. I'm sorry, Janet. By the way, if your name is Janet, I love that name. Just using that because I love the name. You know, but it's like, oh, Janet, Janet, so Janet was looking so fresh, so cute, so wonderful today, boo boo. You should try her hair color, you know, like stuff like that. It was little digs like this. Because this person felt insecure with you, there's like the mystery. Bibel, we all know it. Everyone tells us this because it's true. The mystery, the magnetism, the push, and I said quiet of the Scorpion. Okay, like this person was married to it in a long-term relationship with it. Uh, maybe living, so it doesn't have to be marriage, but you know what I mean. And it kind of drove them crazy. They were always really insecure. They could tell other people were, were looking at you. They could tell other people were interested. And they were trying to like, you know, kill you with like, it's like, you know, kill your self-esteem, death of, by a thousand cuts kind of a situation. Uh, so this person is going through a dark night of the soul with the seven of cups, you know. <laughs> They're like trying to figure out how to fix this. Um, it could have been a ghost too. Someone could have ghosted you if it was a bimbo himbo from Tinder. Because of that insecurity, they couldn't figure you out. So like, you know, they abandoned the situation. It's like they tried to conquer you and they got you. They didn't know what to do with it. If it's a long-term connection, something ended in mystery. So it's like there is a sense of like not being sure if it's really over. Um, so it could have been just like, you know, a sudden silence or someone did something unexpected with this high priestess you know there's a, a, an element of surprise to this too quite possibly um and this person is now in an energy of coming back into your life uh, expect a message within a month this person will will message you well in the next one hour one day one week or one month a person is coming in to message you uh they're they're taking a long time because they're not sure what to say but bell Let's see where, th where this is going to lead. They're not sure what to say. Yeah, King of Wands, you know, coming in very passionate, very strong energy, trying to fix this. Uh, a lot of passion for you. I mean, look, you got the Empress here. Like, you cannot make this up, <laughs> right? You cannot make this up. I, I don't know what Jan is going to think about this, but, like, I'm telling you, Bibi, like, this person is obsessed with you. They've always been obsessed. I do see... Even if it's like someone's known you your whole life, 50 years you've been together, like the love is still real. It's just this person is such an insecure little douche flute. They were sabotaging it. So now they're coming in on this, you know, on the ideology of change and healing with the Empress too, maturing this connection a little bit and being uh, a little bit more present in the right kind of ways. So it's up to you if you want to take him back, because I know Scorpio, you know, once you get on the wrong side of Scorpio, you might as well, you know, not exist. You're basically air. So just saying, bib, bib, just saying, be careful. If you push a scribble enough, eventually you stop existing to us. We don't, you know, we just, we don't, people think we take vengeance. I don't know. I always like do these like little lectures on scribble. Scribble doesn't take, scribble, especially at its power and its high exalted form, we don't avenge ourselves. We just stop, you just stop existing. <laughs> and maybe it feels like revenge to some people. And if a scribble did that to you, it's because you did something. Every time you don't, you don't cease to exist to us because you were a good person. <laughs> you cease to exist because you were a toxin in our environment and had to be deleted from the database. So anyway, Scorpio, it's up to you if you want to delete them or not. But um, this person is coming back in because they definitely, definitely love you. Uh, and they've definitely, I mean, you know, I don't know to what extent they understand what they did, but they know that they were in the wrong. At least they're open to, you know, change and healing here. So this is what I have for you today, my darling Scorpio. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story, my boo -boo. Also, Scorpio, if you uh, vibe with my videos and you enjoy my channel, why not subscribe, turn on that notification button, and of course, like the video, because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is down below, my darling. Email me. That is the fastest way to get a reading with me. I will never approach you for a reading. That is a scam. I do not solicit for readings. Maybe you need to come to me. I'll see you next time, my darling. Take care of yourself. Stay moisturized. Stay sprightly. Stay gorgeous. And may the angels protect you. <laughs>